Listen to me in a band, my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. No spinning back fists, blowing elbows, no knees to the head. In the grapple, we keep busy, I'll break it up, okay? Touch gloves, step back, have a good fight. Well, here are a couple of fighters that I have seen in action before. Jetta Pratap, who is fighting out of the city kickboxing gym. Tony Angela in the corner here, as well as Steve Harm. And I've seen her fight on a couple of occasions. Not sure how many she's had all together, but um, I've seen her fight Selena Small. They're one and one, I've fought twice. And uh, she takes in a really healthy height and reach advantage into this one over Bailey O'Halloran, who I have seen in action before. Saw her at Mount Albert, and she's a fighter that likes to get involved as well. Going to be a little bit difficult for her to get on the inside because uh, what I've seen from Pratap in the future, in the uh, past I should say, is that uh, she is very proficient at using that height and reach advantage that she's got. She's a, a straight shooter, she likes to keep the hands out straight and uh, she's not scared to use the front kick as well to keep her opponents at bay. So O'Halloran trying to use the lateral movement to find a way through and being mirrored in every shot. And there goes that straight hand that I'm talking about. O'Halloran does get on the inside, but nice reflexes from Patap who catches and sweeps and manages to maintain that distance between them. Clyde Cowley, the man in charge of this one. O'Halloran fighting in the southpaw stance. And it's a real chess game out here. Trying to find an advantage, just trying to find an opening. And the big straight punches, that right hand is a good one from Pratap. And O'Halloran, she's trying hard, but uh, yeah, at the moment, the defences are good from Jita Pratap. Both girls got a real good following. Plenty of uh, noise when they both come into the stadium. Time running out here in round number one. And so far, there we go. We go back to the corners, hear what the trainers have to say. Tactics have been set out. Can the girls carry out the plans? That's the, the big question here. Is round number two. Time on signal by Clyde Cowley and straight into the action they go. And O'Halloran trying to put a little bit of pressure on, wind up the wick a little bit here at the start of round number two. Plenty of kicks been asked to come from the top, but she does get on the inside this time, O'Halloran. Tied up nicely by Pratap and they'll go back to clear here with the assistance of the referee, and so a little bit more urgency here in the second by the look of things from O'Halloran. Front kick being employed, but it doesn't stop her at the, this time, and the left hand over the top from O'Halloran. Back to the cat and mouse, the chess match is still on, but it's played at a faster pace here in round number two. She follows it up, that kick up, nice straight left hand down the channel from O'Halloran. But Pratap is pretty handy with that right hand. I like that straight right hand that she's been firing. And it was something that Tony Angela asked her to employ a little bit more, put a little bit more effort onto it. But O'Halloran's broken the defences here. Gets on the inside. She's the aggressor in round number two, that's for sure. So this might put a little bit of spark into the fight as far as the scorecards is concerned. Pratap taking away round number one. But uh, O'Halloran really staking her claim here in the second. Ooh, there goes a nice left hand from her and they were in the 50-50 zone at the end of the second. Let's see how the, how the um, 
Well, some work to do for O'Halloran. Uh, it could be 50-50 round, round number two, according to Mike Angove, and it was uh, could have been that close to on my scorecard. Uh, depends on what the judges like. And, ooh, well, <laughs> hey, well, it's all on. Game on here in round number three. Round number two started fast, but uh, not as fast as this third one. So the desperation stakes are in play here. And O'Halloran trying to get through that defence that has been pretty good for the majority of the fight. Those front kicks are so frustrating. Um, she is breaching the, the gap. Bailey Lee O'Halloran, she's, uh, <laughs> it's been a, a pretty formidable task. And uh, Jita Pratap doing a real good job with the, the straight punches and the, and the ring movement as well. The ring movement from both girls has been excellent. It's been uh, a little bit of deadly dancing out there and downstairs goes O'Halloran. So, ooh, and a beautiful kick to the midriff from Pratap at the same time. Now this is really turning into something um, Technical, beautiful work from O'Halloran on that occasion. Getting around the outside of the garden, straight down the channel she goes as well. Good work from her. So really starting to find the openings now. It's taken a while, but the perseverance is starting to pay off and she puts the pressure on. Has to go forward by her corner, and she does just that. Got to be careful she doesn't walk into something straight. That right hand is a good weapon of protection. But she's on the back foot, taking some of the power away from it. And O'Halloran winding that pace up. And, well, it come, the end come a little bit too soon for her, I feel. Fighting out of the red corner, Jesus! 